You guys got to do it. Um, well, what I want to do is now that we've kind of talked about how to find our coefficients, now what I just want to briefly go over is let's say I ask you to expand 2x minus 3 to the fourth. All right. Now, you guys know that you could simply multiply 2x minus 3 times 2x minus 3. That's going to give you a trinomial. And then you do a nice big trinomial times a nice big trinomial. And that's just going to be a lot of multiplying and a lot of combining like terms, right? All right. But there's a couple other different ways to do it. Now you guys kind of know our pattern that we're working with. Um, let's go and see what our coefficients would be. So what I can do is I can create the Pascal's triangle to find out my coefficients. So Kelly, what I'll do is I'll start with 1. And I'll just follow the pattern. Right? And I know that, so it's very easy to create the Pascal's triangle. I know this is x to the 0 power, 1, 2, 3, 4. So therefore, this, we know our coefficients are going to be multiplied by um, 1, 4, 6, 4, and 1. All right? Then we know that on my first term, remember, we got to keep that to its to its, to its fourth power. So this one's going to be 2x to the fourth, right? Yeah. Then, then it's going to be 2x cubed y. Y. Sorry? Why do you, like, does 9 4 through 2, right? Huh? You just, never mind. Yeah, I haven't. Let me actually write this out a little bit farther. So we have 1, which we don't really care about because the 1's not going to change. So I have 2x to the fourth. Yes? OK. Then I multiply by 4 times it goes now to 2x cubed. Right? But then remember, now it's cubed, so now I have my negative 3, right? So now I have negative 3 raised to the just first power, right? Because remember, it starts at 0, then goes to the first power. Plus 6 times, now it's 2x raised to the second power, right? This 2x starts at 4, then goes to 3, then goes to 2, then goes to 1, right? The only difference is now I have different coefficients that I'm multiplying it by. Then, so let's go 2x squared, and then my negative 3 gets raised to the what power? Second. Second power. So it's negative 3, now it's negative 3 to the second power. Then plus 4 times a 2x to the first times negative 3 cubed, right? And then plus, that's 2x to the 0 times 1 to the negative 3 to the fourth. And then you can go and multiply that up. So 2 to the fourth power, 2 to the third power is going to be 8. So 2 to the fourth power is going to be 16 x to the fourth. Um, this is going to be a negative 12. So it would be a negative 24. Oh, I'm sorry, that's 8. That's 2 cubed. That's 8. 8 times, um, eight times 4 is going to be um, 32 times a negative 3 is going to be a negative 60. 32 times 3, which would be a negative. What am I doing? Kelly, you have this? So we have 4, so we have 8. 8 times 4 is 32 times a negative 3, which would be negative 64, which would be negative 96. That's x cubed. And then we have plus um, 6, so 2 squared is going to be 4. 4 times 6 is 24. Um, and then 24 times 9 is, I don't know. Two hundred sixteen x squared. Then here I have negative three. Can somebody do twenty-seven times four times two, please? 
a negative 27, actually. But so it's a negative 216x, right? And then this one, negative 3, 4, negative 3 to the fourth power is? Four hundred eighty-one. What was that coming? Three to the fourth is four hundred eighty-one. Yeah, it's positive four hundred eighty-one. How is it four? I got eighty-one. Two more weeks, it's like wagon. Two more weeks. I'm sorry. Where did you get a four eighty-one? I don't know. That's what you guys told me. I said I said eighty-one. Okay, but it's it's negative eighty-one. Negative eighty-one. Negative three, it's going to be positive. It has to be positive. So three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three again would be 81. Okay, yes, 81 makes sense. I don't know where 41 would go. All right, so that becomes, that's negative 27 times four times two is negative 216. <clears throat> that was correct, so there we go. Looks good. Good job, guys. Staining.